Welcome to the Sage 50 Year-End Wizard Anytime Learning Topic. During this topic, we will review the process to close the fiscal year in Sage 50. Sage 50 companies have two fiscal years open at any given time, with each year holding 12 accounting periods for a total of 24 periods. Additionally, the fiscal year structure in most companies matches the calendar year. To view your accounting period structure, click the Change Accounting Navigation Aid on the main window. The Change Accounting Period window appears. Notice the open fiscal and payroll tax years and the current accounting period that you are in. Generally speaking, you will need to close the older of the two open fiscal years when the current period approaches the last three open periods in the current fiscal year. In this case, the month of December in the 2013 fiscal year is period 24 out of the available 24 periods. So it is appropriate to close the 2012 fiscal year at any point through the end of December 2013. Before running the Year End Wizard, it is recommended that you verify the integrity of your company data using the Data Verification Utility. Doing so will help ensure that the Year End process completes without errors. Click the Accounting Period icon on the main window, select Accounting Period 01 in the list, and then click OK. Next, select File on the menu bar, and then select Data Verification. The Data Verification window displays. Leave both tests checked and click the Start button. The Backup window displays. This is a required backup. Give the backup a unique name so that you can identify it as a Data Verification Backup. When the backup is complete, the data verification process will begin automatically. Depending on your data size, this unattended portion of the verification process may take several minutes. At the end of the test, you will be informed of any error corrections. If errors were found and corrected, click the View Error Log button to view the details. Otherwise, click Close. After the test is complete, change back to your current accounting period. After verifying your company data, you can begin closing the year using the Year End Wizard. Select Tasks on the menu bar, select System at the bottom of the menu, and then select Year End Wizard. The Year End Wizard welcome page appears which displays the current open fiscal and payroll tax years. Click the Next button. The Close Options page displays. If the fiscal year matches the calendar year, which in turn matches the payroll tax year, you will want to close both the fiscal and payroll tax years even if you do not use the payroll area in Sage 50. Click the Next button. At this point, you may receive an error message indicating that there are purchase invoices that are marked with the Waiting on Bill option. In this case, you will be unable to proceed until the problem is corrected. To resolve this issue, cancel out of the Year End Wizard and open the Purchases list. Set the date range on the list to All and open any purchase invoice dated in the year you are trying to close that has a check in the Waiting on Bill column. Uncheck the Waiting on Bill checkbox and then save the purchase invoice. You can now reopen the year in Wizard and continue closing the year. You may also receive a message indicating that there are unprinted items that exist in the fiscal year you are closing, which may include sales invoices, payments or payroll checks, or 1099 forms. Sage 50 considers an invoice saved without an invoice number or a payment saved without a check number as unprinted. You may wish to review these items by canceling the Year End Wizard at this point. Otherwise, click the Next button. On the Reports page, you may wish to print out all or some of the reports listed by marking or unmarking the checkboxes next to each report. You can click the Check All button to select all of the reports and the Check None button to deselect all of the reports. Click Next to proceed. The Internal Accounting Review page displays. 
at the end of each accounting period, you are given the option to run the internal accounting review to locate common transaction mistakes. This is an optional step. If you choose to run the internal accounting review, you will need to restart the year in Wizard. Click Next. The Backup Company Data page displays. Making a backup of company data is a required step when closing the fiscal year. Click the Backup button. The Backup Company Options window displays. It's generally a good rule of thumb to also back up archives and attachments at this time. Click the Backup button. You may want to name this backup in such a way that you can easily identify it as a year-end backup. Because this backup is the last data set with the year being closed still open, it's highly recommended that you keep this backup safe. You may want to make multiple copies of it and store it off-site with other important backups. Click Save and save the backup. Now that the backup file process is complete, the next button is now available. If you are using Sage 50 Premium Accounting or higher, you will also have the option of making an archive company that contains information in a read-only state for the fiscal year that you are closing. This is an optional step. The new Open Fiscal Years page appears, which displays the additional 12 periods that will be opened for the upcoming fiscal year. If the start and end dates of the accounting periods in your company have changed in your new fiscal year, you can change them in the grid. However, you cannot change the number of accounting periods or the start date of the fiscal year. If you need to change the accounting period or fiscal year structure of your company for the next fiscal year, you can find instructions in Help by entering the word Rebuild in the Help Index field. Click Next. The Confirm Year End Close window displays, informing you of the fiscal and payroll tax years that will be closed. In addition, you will be informed of the two open fiscal years that will be open after running the Year End Wizard. Click Next. The Begin Close Year Process window displays. Because the company data was verified before walking through the Year End Wizard, the Data Verification checkbox on this window can be unchecked. This will help speed up the closing process. Click the Begin Close button to continue. The Year End Wizard Congratulations page displays after the Year End Wizard Close process successfully completes. Click the Finish button. You can verify your new open accounting periods by clicking the Change Accounting Navigation Aid on the main menu. You can now begin entering transactions in the new open fiscal year. It is recommended that you make an additional post year end close backup. Thank you for viewing the Sage University year end support topic. Sage University is your gateway to a wealth of product and business knowledge, including complete payroll training from reporting to troubleshooting plus year end procedures that help you get the most out of your investment. Sage offers virtual hands on learning, enabling you to practice what you learn real-time learning on specialized topics, and self-paced anytime learning available 24-7. You can either interact with a live instructor where you are able to ask questions or learn at your own pace. Best of all, you can attend all learning methods from the comfort of your home or office. Visit Sage University today to select the training that is best for you.